The cylinder is the power unit of the engine, where fuel is burned and converted into mechanical energy that powers the vehicle. This means the more cylinders you have, the more power you have. The number of cylinders in a typical car could be 4, 6, or 8, these different types of engine layouts vary in their cylinder arrangements. However, the basic principles of an internal combustion engine are universal, the manner in which these engines are designed and function vary greatly. Some engine configurations are designed inline, others in a V, while others are flat. So in this video, let's look at every engine layout in the automobile industry. Starting with single cylinder engine. A single cylinder engine is a piston engine with one cylinder. This engine is often used for motorcycles, scooters, go-karts, and all-terrain vehicles. Single cylinder engines are made both as four strokes and two strokes. The first gasoline engine developed by Carl Benz was a one-cylinder two-stroke unit, which ran for the first time in 1879. Single-cylinder engines are less expensive to build. Due to the greater potential for airflow around all sides of the cylinder, air cooling is often more effective for single-cylinder than multi-cylinder engines. Thanks to their larger bores and strokes, single-cylinder engines produce higher torque at lower revs, making them more suitable for load lugging and for applications where high torque is required to lower down the rev range. On the other hand, the twin creates more power higher up the rev range, somewhat compromising torque delivery at the lower end. These are more suitable for sport bikes, where the lighter componentry has to make a little bit more effort, initially to lift the load and get moving, but ultimately can deliver better performance to higher up the rev range. Most single-cylinder engines used in motor vehicles are fueled by petrol and use a four-stroke cycle. However, diesel single-cylinder engines are also used in stationary applications. In a single-cylinder engine, the size of the piston and other components is heavy for its cubic capacity. As the piston goes up and down in the cylinder, it creates a force, which isn't often balanced. The primary and secondary unbalanced forces remain in the engine that causes the vibration. A fraction of primary unbalanced force, up to 85 to 90 percent, is made balanced by providing counterweights on the crankshaft. These counterweights are generally located at the end of the connecting rod. In some cases, more extreme methods, such as a dummy connecting rod, is fitted. For example, in the Ducati Supermono, the dummy connecting rod is attached to the same crank working the piston, while the other end of the dummy connecting rod is attached to a weighted rocker arm. This, in theory, should balance out the weight of primary piston, thus reducing vibrations. The setup also enables the engine to rev much higher, which translates to more power. These balancing devices can reduce the benefits of single-cylinder engines regarding lower weight and complexity. The uneven power delivery often means that a single cylinder requires a heavier flywheel than a comparable multi-cylinder engine, resulting in relatively slower changes in engine speed. The straight or inline engine is an internal combustion engine, with all cylinders aligned in one row, and having no offset. An inline engine has a simple design, and is often denoted as an I-engine, usually found in 4, 6, and 8-cylinder configurations. 8 cylinders in a row would be too long to fit in most engine bays. They have been used in many light, medium, and heavy commercial vehicles, earth-moving equipments, locomotives, and aeronautics. A straight engine is considerably easier to build than an horizontally opposed or V engine because the cylinder bank and crankshaft can be milled from a single metal casting, requiring fewer cylinder heads and camshafts. There is an even distribution of weight, hence they maintain an optimum balance. These are smaller in size and therefore need relatively small space and are comparatively cheaper. BMW is famous for its high-performance inline six-cylinder engines. Four-cylinder inline have been widespread in recent years due to their affordability, fuel economy, and reduced emissions. 
Inline engines have a simple design and hence are easy to construct. These are smaller in size and hence require relatively small space. An inline cylinder engine lacks rigidity like V8 and V6 engines. There is an issue of overheating associated with these types of cylinders. Generally, it has a higher center of gravity when compared to other types. It generates a loud noise when they come across bumpers on roads. V engines are one of the most common engine types, and they have their cylinders configured in a V shape. It consists of two cylinder banks, usually with the same number of cylinders, in which each bank connected to a common crankshaft. In most cars today, if the number of cylinders is more than four, it will most likely be a V-type arrangement, the typical examples are V6, V8, V10, or V12. The inlet and exhaust are properly segregated in this arrangement, because of the usage of two-cylinder banks. The V-type engines are very smooth and balanced. When the number of cylinders increases, the V-type arrangement offers better benefits, and due to their shorter length, they are way more compact than the inline type. Compared with the less common flat engine, a V-engine is narrower, taller, and has a higher center of mass. The V-angle between the cylinder banks varies significantly between the engines. Some of them have used a V-angle of 180 degrees, at the same angle as a flat engine, such as several Ferrari V12 engines. At the other end of the scale, the Lancia V4 and the Volkswagen VR6 engine use V-angle of 15 degrees, along with a single cylinder head used by both banks of cylinders. The engine balance of a V12 engine is that of perfect primary and secondary balance. Each bank of the V12 engine functions as a straight-six engine, which by itself has perfect primary and secondary engine balance. By using the correct V-angle, a V12 engine can therefore have a perfect balance. V-engines have smaller size than the other engines and improves aerodynamics. They increases primary balance and reduces vibrations. They provide smoother operation for high-speed performance. Compactness of V-engines makes it suitable for high-end sports cars. High-end superbikes use a V4 design, and high-end cars such as saloons, sports cars, and SUVs commonly employ the V6 and V8 designs. V-engines can be more expensive, because they have more parts than inline engines. Due to its complex design, it is difficult to build a V-engine for auto manufacturers. And cooling is another problem of the V engines. More components can make the engine heavier. V engines are generally not very fuel efficient. Therefore, cars equipped with V engines generally fall into luxury and sports categories. Flat engines are horizontally opposed piston engines and have been around since the 1890s. A flat engine is a 180 degrees V engine that works similarly to any other V engine. Each pair of cylinders shares a single crank pin so that as one piston moves inward, the other moves outward. The two opposing pistons will move in the same direction, but one is compressing and the other is combusting. One piston will be at the top dead center and the other will be at the bottom dead center. Compared with the more common straight engines, flat engines have better primary balance resulting in less vibration. Flat engines are famous for having perfect balance and can offer sports cars high performance and power without vibration. Their low center of gravity can improve the aerodynamics of the vehicle. Also, flat engines are fairly easier to cool thanks to their horizontally opposed profile. The problem with these engines is that flat engines are wider than comparable inline or V engines. Repairs and maintenance can be an issue, since the heads are basically on the side of the car.
Flat engines are not boxers, but boxer engines are flat. Due to their low height, they are also known as pancake engines. The boxer engine is a horizontally opposed internal combustion engine that is designed with opposing cylinders on each side of a central rotating crankshaft. Each opposing piston will do the same stroke as you look at the piston movement, they mirror each other. When the left piston is compressing, the right will also be compressing. When combusting, the second will also be combusting, and so on. Currently, Porsche, Subaru, and Toyota are the only manufacturers that offer boxer. The Porsche 911 has always come with boxer engines, and the current lineup has a variety of six-cylinder versions, or flat sixes. The Porsche 718 Boxster, 718 Cayman, and 718 Spider have four-cylinder boxers known as flat fours. All current Subaru engines are the horizontally opposed type with four cylinders. The Toyota 86, a mechanical twin of the Subaru BRZ, also uses a flat four Subaru engine. Boxer engines offers a good rotational balance to pistons and hence lower vibrations. They have a low center of gravity which is highly advantageous for maintaining stability and handling the vehicle. Boxer engines are larger and hence occupy a lot of space. Maintaining these engines is difficult and expensive. And it has a comparatively long production time. A W engine is a type of piston engine where three or four cylinder banks use the same crankshaft, resembling the letter W when viewed from the front. W engines with three banks of cylinders are also called broad arrow engines because of the resemblance. W engines are less common and are typically shorter and wider than a V engine. The angle between the V and a regular V engine is around 60 to 90 degrees. However, the V in the W engine is about 15 degrees. So, you can't see the separation between each block of the narrow angle V. W engines are used in heavy-duty, luxury, and exotic cars because they take up less space and provide more power. Over the year, the W engine has been available in 3, 6, 8, 12, and 16-cylinder configurations. The biggest ever was a W30, used in a Sherman tank during World War II. The Volkswagen AG, more commonly known as VAG, is responsible for the mass production of the W-type engine. The W engine is a better version of the V engines in terms of its compact size. The engine is compact but uses lots of components to stay together. The more components make it complicated for the auto manufacturers to produce it at a mass scale. This is the reason why W engines are very rare. The rotary engines are truly a unique concept and have been made successful by Mazda. It was invented by German engineer Felix Wankel. It consists of a three-lobe rotor of triangular shape with curved sides that rotates eccentrically in an oval chamber. The rotor is mounted on the crankshaft through external and internal gears. A Wankel rotary engine has an ignition system and a fuel delivery system that are similar to the ones on piston engines. Wankel rotary engines use the four-stroke combustion cycle which is the same cycle that four-stroke piston engines use, but it is accomplished in a completely different way. If you want detailed explanation on Wankel engine, then check out this video. Rotaries typically outperform piston reciprocating engines in endurance, performance, and simplicity of operation and maintenance. Other advantages like there aren't many moving parts. The Wankel design is extremely smooth, compact, and lightweight. Also, since it is not mounted vertically and there are no pistons, the center of gravity is very low. Therefore, the handling and ride of the car are planted. These are way more compact than the inline or the V-type arrangements as well. 
Problems with Wankel engine is that they tend to suck gas and deliver poor emission, they require frequent maintenance and are pricey to be fixed. That's why no one in the automotive industry is using a rotary engine nowadays. The last car that sold with a Wankel rotary engine was the Mazda RX-8, which too was discontinued way back in 2012. The RX-8 had to abandon it largely to poor fuel efficiency and emissions. The unburned fuel, along with burned oil, both result in terrible emissions from Wankel engines. The emissions problems are one of several reasons the RX-8 was pulled from production. The radial engine is a reciprocating type internal combustion engine, in which the cylinders radiate outward from a central crankcase, like the spokes of a wheel. C.M. Manley constructed a water-cooled five-cylinder radial engine in 1901. The radial configuration was commonly used for aircraft engines before gas turbine engines became predominant. Radial engines have several advantages for airplanes, they can produce a lot of power. A typical radial engine in a B-17 has nine cylinders, displaces 1,800 cubic inches and produces 1,200 RPM. Radial engines work like any other four-stroke engines. They both have similar parts but their construction and design are different. Each cylinder has an intake, compression, power and exhaust stroke. A radial engine cylinders are numbered from the top, going clockwise, with the first cylinder numbered 1. The first cylinder's connecting rod is attached directly to the crankshaft, this is the master rod. The other cylinder's rods connect to pivoting points around the master rod. Every radial engine has an odd number of cylinders, and they fire in an alternating order. So, a five-cylinder engine fires in a 1, 3, 5, 2, and 4 order. A seven-cylinder engine fires in an 1, 3, 5, 7, 2, 4, 6 order. While this type of engine is used primarily in aviation, but the radial engine isn't exclusive to aircraft only. Throughout history, there have been tanks, cars, or bikes fitted with a radial engine. An X engine is a piston engine with four banks of cylinders around a common crankshaft. The cylinders form an X shape when viewed from front. This X8 layout fascinated Henry Ford, and in 1920 he launched a secret project to build such an engine. But the X8 turned out to be a flawed concept, and Ford finally abandoned the project in 1926. In 1926, the Packard Motor Car Company introduced the Packard X2775 was an American experimental liquid-cooled aircraft engine. The engine was constructed as a single crankcase with four banks of six cylinders, in what is close to an X configuration. The engine consisted of two 60 degrees V12 engines, one upright and one inverted, sharing a common crankcase. The other example of X engines is the Rolls-Royce Vulture, was a British aero engine, developed shortly before World War II, that was designed and built by Rolls-Royce Limited. The Vulture used the unusual X24 configuration, which was built using two Rolls-Royce Peregrine V12 engines. A U engine, also known as a double or twin bank engine, is made up of two separate straight engines, with separate crankshafts placed side by side and coupled to a shared output shaft. The engine block resembles the letter U when viewed from the front. Other variations of the U engine exist as well, a square 4 engine resembles two U engines used together. This equals four straight engines, all working together to share certain parts. The main benefit of a U engine layout is the ability to share common parts with a straight engine upon which it is based. Additionally, if the two crankshafts rotate in opposite directions, the gyroscopic effect of the rotating components in each cylinder bank cancels each other out. The first U-engine was the Bugatti U-16 aircraft engine designed by Ettore Bugatti in 1916, 
which had 16 cylinders and a displacement of 24.3 liters. In 1931, Ariel Square 4 motorcycle used a Square 4 engine. The 1985 Suzuki RG500 and several related racing motorcycles used a water-cooled four-cylinder U engine. An H engine is an engine configuration in which the cylinders are aligned so that if viewed from the front, they appear to be in a vertical or horizontal letter H. This engine comprises two flat engines with separate crankshafts, most often geared to a common output shaft. The design of the H engine makes it narrow and suitable for long, compact spaces where a large number of cylinders can be implemented to produce lots of pulling power. With the flat configuration, there is excellent mechanical balance, which results in less vibration. However, H engines are relatively heavy and have a high center of gravity. Not only because one crankshaft is located at the top of the other, but also because the engine must be high enough off the ground to allow clearance underneath for the exhaust pipes. The most successful H engine in this form was the original Napier Dagger and most famously, the Napier Sabre series. The Lotus 43 Formula 1 car used a 16-cylinder H engine and an 8-cylinder H engine was used for powerboat racing in the 1970s. The opposed type engine has two banks of cylinders directly opposite each other, with a crankshaft in the center. The pistons of both cylinder banks are connected to the single crankshaft. Theory suggests that an opposed piston engine has an efficiency advantage, because since there are no cylinder heads, less heat is lost to the cooling system. The quantity of pollutants generated is reduced through lower pressures and temperatures during combustion. In addition, the longer combined stroke length between the two cylinders enables the fuel to burn more fully, leading to a further reduction in waste matter generation. The main drawback was that the two opposing pistons' power must be geared together. This added weight and complexity compared to conventional piston engines, which use a single crankshaft as the power output. So that's it, thanks for watching, what do you think about these engine layouts? What layout do you have in your vehicle? Let me know in the comments.